I have very positive views overall of the vegan movement. I think we are doing really well um, because if you think about all these products you're seeing, I'm sure you're seeing in Australia now uh, much more vegan replacement products hitting the shelves. I don't know if you're getting a lot more stuff like mock meats and cheeses. We are here in the UK, like Sainsbury's, which is like the, one of the hugest stores here has just released a whole range of coconut-based cheeses. Well, who is this con controlled by? It's controlled by vegans. It's supply and demand. So clearly we are doing something good. So we have to be positive and say, you know, we have to give ourselves a pat on the back and say it was us who did that. Who did that? We're, we're, we're buying such products and we're getting them all out on the shelves for non-vegans to see. So now in Australia or in the UK, when a non-vegan is walking down uh, the aisle with their cart and they're looking on the shelves, they're seeing all these vegan ice creams and vegan cheeses. So we are clearly making uh, good progress. But I think on a negative side, going back to what we were talking about last, where we're getting sort of infighting and scrutinizations and people being excluded from the vegan movement because they might have a certain political view. That's the thing that we need to sort of stop. But aside from that, I think we're doing really well. Okay, cool. You answered two questions. I was going to ask you what, what you think we need to yeah to tighten things up um, i think to i think what we need to sort of tighten things up more is people being more vocal if anything i think there are a lot of vegans who are just sort of happy to just say who are treating it as some kind of personal thing i don't think veganism is a personal thing um who are treating it you know as they're sort of sitting there eating their tofu and barley for dinner and thinking oh well i'm not causing any suffering to animals so that's all that matters there's a there's a philosophy there's a school of philosophical thought actually where that where you sort of say if i'm not causing the harm that's the most important thing i think that whole mentality needs to be eradicated from the vegan movement we need to make it a cause of everyone should be doing this that's what the vegan me movement needs in order for to get more people on board because vegans just keeping these issues to themselves isn't going to do anything. The reason me and you are vegan in the first place is because we heard people talking about it. Yeah, totally. I totally agree with you, man. I like to think of it as, you know, in school when you see a larger kid picking on a smaller kid and you see that bullying taking place, right? So you're like, yeah. um, first, first, first instinct to that is I want to I want to stop that I want to make that I want to make that end somehow because that's not fair that's not just etc um, and you you kind of hope that the small kid will react and need the larger kid in the nuts or something right so you want it you want for retaliation to occur or you want at least for that to end that situation to end but with veganism I feel first the first step is to realize that you're the bully. You've been bullying the vulnerable and now you need to end that. But then you have to also realize that animals are still being bullied by bullies around you. So it's like in school, you realize you're the bully, you stop being a yeah. bully, and then you you should be passionate about making sure that bullying ends around you, that you want to stop other bullies as well. Because there's still kids being picked on, right? There's still innocent and vulnerable beings being picked on. Yeah, that's a great analogy. Once you stop the bullying, that's good for you, but that isn't enough for the bully victims. Yeah. It's about the victims, it's not about you. Yeah, totally. So you need to, once you stop being the bully, you need to encourage other bullies to stop the bullying because for the bully victims, it's still the same. It doesn't matter if you've just stopped bullying. But again, bullying is not a personal choice because it involves it involves a victim who has who does not give you their consent to bully them. Yeah. So veganism can't be some kind of personal issue. And this is what I say. I say both neither veganism nor carnism are personal choices, nor are they lifestyles. I always say carnism is a direct violation of someone else's rights. Veganism is simply a moral obligation. It's just something every good person should do. Yeah, it's the basic level of human decency that we all hope we all we're all fucked if humans don't have that basic yeah. level of decency. And we all we like to think that we all do, but we've been conditioned out of it. 
It's so basic. I mean, you and I are in our late twenties and early thirties, right? And we're actually having to explain to people that unnecessary violence is wrong. <laughs> How has the world even got this way? Yeah. Why should I? Why should I have to? eat a sandwich or something that has has no dead body in it and someone inquires as to why there's no dead body in it and asks me you know pretty much message translated oh you don't commit unnecessary acts of violence towards animals why is that people are actually asking these questions in this 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 amazing species of ours are asking these questions (laughs) this great you know this pinnacle of creation are asking these questions yeah, I, and you know, I'm, I'm guilty, guilty of, it, of it as I'm sure you were. Yeah, I was. You know, before, yeah, before we were vegan, we were asking these same things all the while, thinking we were the best species on earth. Yeah, I know. Right? And it's taken this long to realise that we're not, mm. and we had no justification for what we were doing.